Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is the five ways to prove triangles are congruent, okay? And this is not actually module 15.5, but they, they assume that we already had this and we did an integrated math one. So 15.6 uh, uses these five ways. So, so I thought it would be a good time to review these five ways. Okay, don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Hooray! So our key goal for congruent triangles is to get them congruent, and then we can use the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, the CPCTC. Okay, so once you have congruent triangles, then everything else about them is congruent by CPCTC. So we're going to get triangles congruent by one of the five ways, and then we can say everything else about them is congruent by CPCTC. Okay, so the five ways are side, angle, side. It says this, if two sides in the included angle of one triangle, well, that means this, two sides and the included angle. You see how this angle is included between these two sides? It's not this angle. It's not this angle because these are not included between the two sides. So there's side, angle, side. Okay, or over here we start with here and go side, then angle, then side. Okay, if it was this angle, it would be angle, side, side. And you don't want to do that, okay? I don't know what that's doing there. Let me get rid of that. So, all right, um, I noticed that in class. So, if two sides in the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides in the included angle of another triangle, then we can say those triangles are congruent by side angle side. So we got a. So if we said triangle ABC, we went from one dash to two dash, one dash to the angle to two dash. So we got to do one dash to the angle to two dashes with the marking. So I tell my students, you got to mark your triangles. I get kids that still don't mark them. And if you don't mark them, you can't see, is it side, angle, side? So as soon as you get congruency pieces, you go to your triangle and mark them. And so we mark them with dashes or two dashes. And we mark the angles with little arcs right there. Okay, so DEF is congruent to ABC, okay? So after that, everything else is uh, congruent by CPCTC. So I can say by CPCTC, angle A is congruent to angle D. So that's why the ordering is important. First goes with first. Second goes with second, and third goes with third. If I wanted to say side AC, AC is first and third. That's going to be DF, first and third. So it's important to get the ordering correct, okay? All right, so here's the next way, angle, side, angle. If two angles and the included side. So if I had these two angles, this is my included side right there, the, the side that's in be, included between the two angle markings. Markings, markings, mark your figure, okay? Um, and are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then these triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. So here we did QRS. It doesn't matter which order you do the first triangle, but this ordering tells me which order has to go for the second triangle. So I went from two arcs to nothing arc to one arc. So two arcs to nothing arc to one arc. TUV has to be in the correct order. Angle, angle, side. This says if we have two angles and a non-included side. Okay, so up here was two angles and the included side. Here is two angles and the non-included side. So I could have used this one or this one. I chose this one right here. But here's two angles and a non-included side congruent to two angles and a non-included side of another triangle. Then these triangles are congruent by angle angle side okay so they're congruent by angle angle side so ghi so i went from two arcs to no arcs to one arc so two arcs no arcs one arc jkl okay jkl by angle angle side okay all right so see the difference between angle side angle where the side is included between the two angles and angle angle side where the side is not the included side okay all right the uh, fourth one is side 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 so if all three sides of one triangle congruent to um, all three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent by side, 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 okay? So there's all the markings on that, okay? And then we have HL. HL is for right triangles only. If the hypotenuse and leg of one right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and leg of another right triangle, then they're congruent by the HL theorem, hypotenuse leg theorem, okay? This is the only time angle side side works, you guys, because it's a right triangle. And the reason is we can use the Pythagorean theorem to show that, uh, that this side 
is equal to this side by using the Pythagorean theorem so we can get side 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 on this so if it's a right triangle only then the hypotenuse leg does work on that okay all right so the five ways are angle side angle side angle side angle angle side 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 and HL okay notice this side is in between the two angles okay notice this angle is in between the two sides notice this side is not in between the two angles so this is a non included side okay all right so don't make an angle side side of yourself okay da -da -da. all right so here we go are the triangles congruent if so state the congruency so which order and then why so are these triangles congruent yes they're congruent by side 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 so I said a B C so I went from uh, one arc to three arcs so I got to go one arc or one mark to three marks so that would be F E D okay all right side 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 how about this one okay this one is side angle side because of the angles in between them so P Q R so no markings to the arc to the two so no markings for to the arc to the two markings so X uh, X Z Y so P Q R is congruent to X Z Y by side angle side okay side angle side that's how the markings are you have to mark your figures okay all right so are these triangles congruent well by the reflexive property we can mark that BD in the left triangle equals BD in the right triangle but this is not uh, the included angle and this would be angle side side so angle side side does not work or side side angle so these triangles are not congruent okay all right how about these ones okay vertical angles those angles are congruent and so here we have uh, this is the included side between these two angles this is the included side between these two angles so angle side angle and we did LMN so I did from uh, one arc to two arcs okay so we got to go one arc to two arcs so PM and then O okay PM uh, oh I made a mistake didn't I did yeah PMO sorry let me fix that right there so it'll be correct for I already did this with my class they didn't correct me dirty rats all right uh, okay so how about these guys here okay so I got some right triangles and the reflexive property says we can make those um, that hypotenuse congruent and since we got the markings of these legs congruent then we can say HL the hypotenuse leg okay just make sure you get your order correct all right how about this one here okay this one says AD this bisects so it cuts this to make these equal it goes through the middle midpoint so if it bisects those guys are equal right there and by the reflexive property that equals itself so these triangles are congruent by side 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 right there okay how about these ones all right well there is no angle 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 you guys so I mean if I drew a bigger triangle let me show you a bigger triangle well if I did a bigger triangle it would all be 60s on there also so these there is no angle 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 congruency so um, this one is no they're not congruent right there all right remember once we get the triangles congruent by one of those five ways then everything else about them is congruent by CPCTC you'll see that in the next lesson when we have parallelograms and stuff okay that's, that's why the correct ordering is is important on that all right if you are in our class we're going to do that for your homework take care